Hello everybody, my name is Dave Cowan, and I'm here to talk about dowsing. In particular, Dowsing Beyond Duality, which is the name of the recent book published by myself and my wife, Irina, and is available on Amazon.com. And in Dowsing Beyond Duality, we talk about, uh, well, it's actually an extensive program uh, intended to teach you how to douse. One of the things we do with dowsing is we shift energies, and this is, to us, the more exciting aspect of dowsing. And what we've got here tonight is a bit of a demonstration for you, a clearing, in the area of ascension. Now, ascension is um, probably has many different meanings to many different folks. Uh, what it means to me, I suppose, is evolution and where we're heading individually and as a species. Uh, many folks who have come before us in generations past have been able to evolve not only mentally, emotionally, spiritually, as well as physically. Uh, and we're now moving into a phase of history where this opportunity is much more available for very large numbers of people today. And many of you, I'm sure, viewing this are aware of what I'm talking about. So uh, what I'd like to do is offer some clearings through this video which uh, we have found actually work through the medium of video. I'm not quite sure how that works, but I think it has something to do with the patterns of light, uh, the patterns of sound, and of course the intention uh, behind the process and your willingness to receive these uh, clearings, of course. In order to do these clearings, what I'll be doing is mainly left spin functioning, where I start the movement of the pendulum uh, myself, from the conscious mind and allow the uh, movement to move or play out on its own, uh, operating at a different, more subtle level of mind. And I have a, cl a list here of clearings that I'd like to offer to all of you listening right now, uh, specifically, again, aimed at accelerating our evolution and assisting us to move through this historic period and opportunity with ease and grace. So the first thing I would like to do is, uh, again, with our left spin, uh, and if you're a dowser, by all means, play along with this, uh, we're going to clear the emotional body, particularly any patterns of resentment uh, in, from the past, obviously. And we'd like to transmute, uh, as we clear these patterns of resentment from our emotional bodies, we'd like to transmute these energies into the positive energies of forgiveness, of the willingness to heal, of the willingness to release ourselves and others from any uh, patterns of resentment or negative emotional memory. These emotions, again, are simply stuck energies. The word emotion, if you look at it, uh, could symbolize energy in motion. And so when we have an emotion come up and we uh, recognize it as an emotion and allow it to move through us, as it were, uh, of course, that energy stays in motion and moves beyond. But when we resist the emotion with a mental judgment, usually, or a fear pattern, that emotion, that energy no longer moves and it becomes stuck. It can be stuck uh, in our energy field as a specific resonating vibrational template. And it can also be stuck even within the physical structures, often at the root of many uh, discomforts and, and chronic uh, physical conditions, we have these stuck emotions in the body. So as I'm speaking, of course, the spinning is continuing here, and we're allowing to release from our emotional bodies any of these old patterns of resentment, many of them, of course, held on an unconscious level, but nonetheless, we can consciously choose in this moment to release these energies and allow them to be replaced with frequencies based on love, healing, and forgiveness. Okay, and again, use your breath to help move these energies through you as we allow the spin to spin out. Now, the second factor we'd like to clear this evening uh, are the mental factors, particularly the stuck thought patterns and mental factors around fears. Letting go old fears, which are, again, just resistance patterns that get established in our fields, and often these patterns have uh, the tendency to attract to us similar experiences to reinforce themselves, in a sense, 
and we find that our fear patterns get uh, inadvertently reinforced by our experiences coming from those same fear patterns. So they become self-replicating uh, loops, you might say, of experience and then uh, our decision to, to accept these fears. So again, with a left spin, which is again symbolic of this release and this desire to let go, we let go from the mental body and from our minds all of the uh, structures around fear, allowing fears to be released on an unconscious as well as a conscious level and freeing those energies and those spaces to um, make room for truth, to make room for thoughts of freedom, thoughts of joy, thoughts of peace. And of course, within each and every one of us, there is a choice maker. That is the, the being that is the part of you that is able to go into neutral observance, even of your own experiences, and make consciously another choice. So as we release the mental body from these fear patterns, we also release the patterns of, um, of fear that are holding our thoughts in place and keeping us from being able to embrace something new, something wonderful, uh, which is what, of course, we're expecting at this time. We're going to move on now and continue with the clearing. In this case, we're going to open up our meridian systems. These are the light channels that uh, operate through the surface of the skin uh, into the tissues and eventually allow for the um, transmission of light energy from the environment down to the deepest levels of the physical body, right down to the cellular level. And as we clear the meridians of any junked up energies, often uh, old emotions are actually held in the meridian system as well. We allow these old energies to be released naturally and gracefully, and we ask that our meridians be filled with light of the highest vibration and of the highest frequency. And we also extend this high frequency healing light uh, that is um, that we've requested into the structures we refer to as the extracellular matrix. These would be the light fibers, uh, as such as actin filaments and microtubules that deliver light energy, photon energy, uh, to every level of our being, right down to the cellular and the DNA level. So we clear our extracellular matrix along with our light energy transmission system known as meridians, and we allow this, uh, the new light coming in from the center of the galaxy and uh, in our local environment, our, our changing environment in outer space. We now allow these cosmic energies that we are moving into or towards as a planet to move uh, again freely through our bodily systems and our energy systems through the opening up of these meridians. We continue on now with this uh, and we'll just keep the spin going as we add these uh, extra features here. We continue on and allow for a clearing of the chakras, particularly the memory patterns held in the chakras from, from a variety of time frames and dimensions where we may be having what we call parallel life experiences and allow these chakras, which are again light and energy transmission systems that interface with the higher dimensions to be cleared and to be open and to be uh, receptive to all that uh, all the levels of connection that are available to us. And as we clear the chakras, and again, this is a general overall clearing here, we also ask to integrate and uh, align all of the chakras with the heart space. Some say that this evolutionary leap that we're uh, uh, launching into now actually involves an integration of the entire chakra system into the heart space. The heart space is our resonant chamber, you might say, that resonates with the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension being the dimension of causeless joy and unconditional love, that which has been embodied in the past by a few masters, but now is about to become, again, the ground of a new civilization and a new evolutionary expression. So we allow for all of these chakras to connect in with the heart space now and begin to operate under the, you might say, the uh, oversight of the heart chakra and the fifth dimension that it represents. And speaking of chakras, we're going to actually request an activation of the extended chakra system. There's the chakras that extend outside of the body, above and below. Below, we ask to activate, as part of this chakra clearing, 
the earth chakra, that is the chakra that's about three or four feet uh, below your physical body that connects us with the earth. And of course, that earth chakra to truly connect us, we need to either consciously activate that uh, on a regular basis or spend time uh, close to the earth. And of course, with your bare feet, if possible, to get the grounding benefits of that as well. We also activate the chakras over our head, including the planetary chakra, which connects us in with the planetary grids and the planetary consciousness. We also activate the uh, galactic chakra, which is above that, which will, again, connect us into the galactic levels of awareness and allow for our galactic consciousness to begin to manifest through this experience on Earth. And we also activate the universal chakra, which connects us in with the one mind uh, of the universe, the, uh, the one song of the universe, and also with um, perhaps connecting with us with our potential to know ourselves as uh, a microcosm or a holographic representation of the universe. In other words, the universe is in your mind, and as we allow our minds and the, the, the light structures of our bodies to extend to those higher levels of existence, we create the potential for us to actually move uh, more gracefully into those states of awareness. Once we know ourselves as a holographic aspect of all that is, we really lose a lot of the fears and concerns uh, around being human uh, and, and the little things that, that drag us down, uh, particularly feelings of separation and, and lack and all of these anxieties seem to melt away naturally once we tangibly hook up on these uh, higher levels. We also ask for a release of our uh, tendency to project our the content of our minds outside of ourselves and thus become what we what we call uh, under an outer locus of control those who are under an outer locus of control give away their power to their environment and to others in their environment not recognizing that we actually don't really directly interrelate with our environment Rather, we, we relate with our mental, emotional filters uh, around the environment and what the environment means to us. In other words, our interpretations. So when we shift our, our attention, you might say, to the inner processes that go on, rather than reacting to our impressions and experiences in the outer world, outer world we become more um, focused on the inner locus of control. And this uh, helps to facilitate mastery and uh, confidence that we truly do have the power of choice in each and every experience as to how we will experience that. And we no longer need to be a victim of anything in this world. So again, we're dowsing to shift our locus of control from outer to inner. And of course, your practice in prayer and meditation can greatly facilitate that as well. While we do this, we also ask to optimize, which is typically a right spin function, but we're going to piggyback that onto these left spin clearings to optimize the appeal and the cultivation of silence. So each of us need to have some kind of a practice where if we're interested at all in successfully and consciously navigating this time of shift, we need to be comfortable with mental silence. We need to be okay with not thinking and revert to a, a higher level of awareness that emerges naturally as we train the mind to settle down, settle down and take a back seat. So I encourage all of you to find some practice, no matter how simple uh, or complicated it, it gets, but it does need to bring you to that point on a regular basis, that zero point, you might say, of the no, of non-movement of the mental energies where you can simply focus in on your state of uh, on you as a pure being without condition and without reflection in the form of thought. A simple breath meditation uh, actually uh, can uh, provide this opportunity as can spending time in nature obviously but find something that works for you where each day you can touch that ground of silence. Only the ego is afraid of silence because the ego is a mental structure that needs to keep the mental processes continuously going to validate itself. 
but in the silence you find out that who you are is far beyond anything uh, the ego could ever imagine itself to be or offer. And finally, as we go through this uh, process here, I'd like to add a release of all limits to the expansion of our awareness. So whether those limits be physical, mental, emotional, multidimensional, we ask now, again with this left spin, to release from ourselves any of the limitations that we have allowed or accepted into our lives that are keeping us from moving gracefully forward into this momentous time of change together. So our intention is to create more of these specific clearing uh, YouTubes and videos. Please share them. Uh, if they work for you, please share them with others. As again, we have a tremendous opportunity through the media now to share this kind of information and these processes. I suggest that after this video, uh, if you have received any kind of sense of release or uh, greater peace as a result of joining uh, with us in this clearing, to spend some time in silence and gratitude and allow the changes to settle in, you might say. So we look forward to seeing you again and uh, many blessings on your journey.